red wine, chocolate, coffee, and olive oil have very large components of melatonin. His physician told him that he was basically a dead man walking. He says that you must have a liter per day of high quality red wine. And Vita. A liter. Oh my goodness. No, I don't drink a liter of red wine, but I'm impressed that a guy made it to a 102 in the 15th century. Cheese consumption is actually profoundly beneficial to your health. Aging actually only occurs as a breakdown of the interface between the wall of our gut. As long as that wall is intact, then you will not age. And I think that's why you see such variation in literature. And a lot of times it's, well, where was this study done? But you mentioned your, your friend, Dr. David Sinclair. Um, yeah. so I'm a big fan of his work and he, um, from what I understand, believes, and I think in fact the World Health Organization may even have recategorized aging as a disease. Do you think it is possible that we could reach a stage where we don't die from, from, from getting older? Like it just almost seems unfathomable, right? Because we associate that we're just aging all the time and eventually depending on how quickly we're aging and whether we succumb to various chronic diseases often more than anything else, we don't. I'm curious as to your view on it. Well, he, uh, yeah, he and I have become friends through the years and we agree on a great many things. Um, he would like to categorize you know, aging as a disease because uh, if we can't convince our governments uh, that aging is a disease, they won't pay for the treatment of aging. Okay. <laughs> um, but as I've written about in the longevity paradox, and I'm writing my next book right currently, if you look at, at animal models, particularly worm models, uh, aging actually only occurs as a breakdown of the interface between the wall of our gut and the microbiome, the bacterial community that lives in our gut. And as long as that wall is intact, and it's very hard to keep that wall intact, and I've written most of my books trying to teach people how to keep that wall intact. As long as that wall is intact, and as long as substances are not getting through that wall, which I think are the causes of aging, then you will not age. Um, and we have worm models that show that it's the breakdown of that wall piece by piece and bacterial particles and other food particles coming across that wall that actually causes what we call aging. Um, Hippocrates, 2,500 years ago, said all disease begins in the gut. Mm. And he was right. Uh, he didn't have the sophisticated tests that I have. Uh, or that others have to literally look at the breakdown of the wall of the gut. And he didn't know, uh, maybe he did, that you can stop that process and repair that process and allow people to you know, reverse whatever chronic disease they have. I got interested in this with heart disease, but now 80% of my practice is autoimmune diseases. Um, which is caused, I can guarantee you, by leaky gut. And when we repair leaky gut, the autoimmune disease resolves. Always, 94% of my patients in a year have resolved their autoimmune disease without medication. Not bad.